It's time for another lunchtime unboxing, and today a little something different as I take a look at the Synetix Lynx controller. I'm very excited about this, and you may be wondering what the heck is a Linux Lynx uh, controller. Well, let me tell you. For years, I have been using Synetix products. I've ever since they first went on Kickstarter with their skate plate, and then they had the uh, skate plate dolly system, and then most recently, I've been using the um, Axis 360 system that allows you to pan, tilt, and slide your camera all over the place. The downside is that, as you can see, there are three separate controllers, one for the slide, one for the pan, and one for the tilt. And connected to a bunch of cables, it's really a mess, number one. Number two, you have to program all three of the controllers differently so that they will trigger at the same time. And then there's this really crazy way of linking them together and creating masters and slave units and all that stuff. And it just gets a little crazy over time. Plus, and this is the third reason, once it completes a program, you have to go back and reset it and kind of program everything again, which I'm not a big fan of. The Synetix Lynx controller, this is amazing. It removes all three of those controllers and instead of three boxes, we're down to one box. This is why the Synetix Lynx controller is really cool in my opinion because instead of having three boxes, each having their own program, uh, I now have one box that can control all three of the Axis 360 motors and this is programmable and it's repeatable and it's got presets and it can control your video camera and it can control your stills camera. Uh, this is very cool. The other thing that is really neat about uh, the Synetix Lynx controller is in this version, and this is, this is something that Synetix has been doing for a while now, is they have been incrementally improving their products. So as we look at other pan, tilt, slide controllers that are out on the market, some of them very expensive and very, very good, one of the things that they have that's very fascinating is the ability to control the move and program the move through an app. And in this release with Lynx, they've included an app that you can control the Lynx controller via your Bluetooth device. So you simply program in your move, you can turn it and set it going from this app. And then the other thing is this is a repeatable application. Now I haven't gone into a lot of depth with this. Again, this is brand new. This is just now out of the box, but uh, apparently you can repeat these again and again and again. And while it may be not so great for time-lapse photography, which I, I, I mean, I can see a lot of advantages for time-lapse videos. Uh, what I'm hoping for is that we can get repeatability to the point where I can do special effects work with this, right? Where you can have the same move multiple times, different passes, and then compositing them all together. Or taking this rig and setup, taking it to another location, setting it up, and then doing a pass there that you can then go in and composite. Now, this isn't an, an, an inexpensive system. And of course, the whole unit, I think is, I think if you buy the whole unit with the slider and the motors and this controller, I think it's somewhere around $1,000. Don't quote me on that. I don't have the website up here behind me. Uh, but definitely, this is going to be a fun toy to play with over the weekend. It is the Lynx controller from Synetics. It's a fun company, the Synex company. I know there may some people may not say they're the best. They're by far not the worst. But I've been following them since their very first Kickstarter campaign five years ago, six years ago, something like that. And they've never failed to disappoint me in any of their products. And that's why I keep supporting them and uh, why I'm excited when a Kickstarter box comes in with something cool like this inside. There you go. That is today's lunchtime unboxing. Thanks so much for watching.